Lizzie here from the Make Club and as you can see we've got a lot going on today because we are making salt dough fossils. So if you're into dinosaurs or exploring this is definitely the craft for you. To get started we're going to make our dough and for this you're going to need the following ingredients. A cup of water, half a cup of salt and a full cup of flour. Alright, so let's get started by mixing our flour and our salt together. Pour the flour in. Oh, it's all stuck at the bottom. And then the salt. I'm just using table salt, so you want a fine salt as opposed to a posh rock salt. And then we're going to mix it together with our spoon. Okay, so the next step is adding the water in. Now it's relatively easy, but you only want to add a little bit at a time because if the dough gets too wet, so you've got to add more flour and etc. etc. So let's just go in with a little bit of water at a time, like that, and then stir it in initially with your spoon, and then we're going to go in with our hands eventually. Okay, so can you see that we're getting to create a paste now? So I'm going to ensure that we get all the mixture wet. I'm going to add a little bit more water in. Where's my water gone? Start off so neatly and it's getting messy already. Like that. I think we'll use the last of our water. That was half a cup of water, half a cup of salt, and then a full cup of flour. I just use ordinary plain flour. I bring that up to the camera. You can see it's quite wet now. So we're going to go keep stirring it to get it nice and smooth and then we're going to add a little bit more flour in so that it's easier to handle. Oh this is hard work. Okay. So I've got a little bit of additional flour here in a Tupperware pot. I'm just going to pour a bit extra in. Hopefully that will um, thicken it up and make it less sticky. Okay, so I'm at a consistency that I'm happy with, so I'm going to pour the last of the flour onto my board, space it out a little bit, and then tip out my dough. This is where things are going to get messy. Get that off the spoon. Oh, it feels horrible. Like that. We're just going to knead the dough. As you can see, it's becoming a lot easier to handle. You might need to add a little more flour so it's not so sticky to the board. Mine's not looking too bad. Okay, so once you're comfortable with the texture of your dough, it's not sticking to your hands, you've got plenty of flour on your board, you can start kneading it. Now, my sister, who's a food tech teacher, has some fairly... Uh, strong comments, should I say, about my kneading technique. So she said the best way to knead if you've got little hands is to use the butterfly technique and push it that way and if you've got big hands you can go palm and pull it back with your fingers. So here we go, we're going to push it out and put it back in and we're going to do that for about 10 minutes just to get it nice and firm. Okay, so once you're comfortable with your kneading and you've done it for about 10 minutes, you want to leave it to rest for half an hour. So this is the perfect time to go away, clean up and come back. Whilst the dough is resting, I want to talk to you a little bit about making your fossil shapes and imprints. So, as you can see here, that mine are all round in shape. That's because I used a wine glass to cut out the initial shape. You could always use a cookie cutter if you've got one at home. I mean, fossils don't have to be circular, but I just thought it was an easy way to start. So I'm using my wine glass as a cutter out. And then to create the imprints, I really got creative. So I looked for things around my house that created an interesting shape. So this was um, a shell that I had. Uh, I think this was an action man footprint. There's all different ideas. You could use leaf textures to make a really fun and interesting fossil shape. Now this shape for me suggests there's a little mini dinosaur. It's actually a little kitchen ornament that I had that created the shape. So our dough is now ready to handle. I've actually cut mine in half because it's much easier to handle in smaller amounts. And then what I like to do is prepare it on the baking sheet that I'm actually going to put into the oven. So I'm going to swap out my tray and pop it onto my baking sheet. I've just got some greaseproof paper which means that you don't have to clean the tray afterwards and nothing gets stuck to it. For practical reasons. And then I'm going to go in with my rolling pin and roll it out flatter. So I'm just going to cover my rolling pin 
and a bit of flour and I'm going to go in and roll it out. I've rolled out my dough onto my baking sheet and then I'm going to take my trusty wine glass and I'm just going to show you one for today and then we're going to, oh my goodness I just puffed all over my carpet, pop my wine glass into the flour so that it's got a, so it doesn't get stuck to it and then I'm going to push it into the dough like that. And then do a couple of those shapes. So you can see a couple of different options. And I'm just going to pull away my excess dough, leaving my circles stuck to the baking sheet. The messy part's done now for you. Now we can make our print. So I've gone round the house and found textures and interesting things which I think are going to make great fossils. So let's start off with um, a shell. So I'm going to dip my shell in the flour and then I'm going to push it right in the centre of my dough. Let's see if it comes out like. Put it off. Oh my goodness, perfect. That looks really good. Okay, what else have I got here? I've got a little ornamental bird. I think he's going to make nice little footprints. Let's give him a try. It's really satisfying to watch, actually. These are now ready to be baked. So they need to go into the oven for about 120 degrees for roughly an hour. And when they come out, you're looking for them to be hard and dry. So it could take a little bit longer. There's not an exact science to it. It just depends on the thickness of your bake. So please make sure you've got a grown-up there to assist you. And then we're going to pretend that we've done that and they've cooked and they're cooling off. You want them to cool off for about an hour before they are ready to decorate. So here is one that has come out of the oven and how fantastic does it look. And then I'm just going to go in and highlight the gaps or the deeper sections. Really roughly. And then I'm going to take a little bit of sort of scrap paper. And then I'm just going to rub it so the paint sort of dispersed, it looks a bit more weathered and it looks like it's sort of drying, dried into the cracks. And that is looking practically prehistoric. Let me show you. There is my sort dough fossil. I've definitely got some tidying up to do, so I'm gonna leave you for now and say thank you so much for watching The Make Club. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also find me on Instagram for new activities coming every week at Lizzie underscore Club Make. Thanks guys, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye bye.